Ishmael's cheapest hotel coming in at 15 quid for three of us for the night in Ishmael's cheapest apartment. Now, I'm not one to complain, but I am gonna show you the room because some people might be happy to stay here. My mum and dad aren't, so we're gonna scarp her somewhere else. But let's not forget the price of this. So that a few lads told us that workers use these apartments, especially in the winter, because um, not many places are open in the winter and it's known to be cheap. Some of you have already mentioned the spiral staircase being a nightmare when you've had a drink on a night. I can't actually pronounce the name of the hotel, but it's 50 quid for up to four people two single beds and a double bed. And when we first walked in, you can see it's very basic. Very, very, very basic. Not complaining with basic, basic's fine, especially because it's the cheapest hotel I have ever seen in my entire life. Not just in Turkey, but in any country. First come in, you have two beds. We're just packing to leave now. We unpack, now we're packing again. A side table with a socket there with wires coming above the socket. Two random holes in the wall. Wear and tear on the seats and table. And it's a bit dull. It's a bit dull in here. But again, let's not forget the price. The price, 15 quid, up to four people. There's three of us, so five pound per person for the night. Now, everything is just needs a bit of TLC. Do you know what I mean? Like, where you put the, where you put the key is hanging off the wall. You've got old looking creased curtains. I don't know how well you can see them. It's got a telly. Let's get some positives. It's got a telly. It's got one light in here bit of a quirky light it's got a clock on the wall which is stuck to the wall and it's it's got two of these single beds the pillows don't look the best if i'm being honest they all look marked on the pillows and the reason that we are leaving is because my mum was laid down on one of the beds in the other room feels like she's been bit she's itching all over so for that reason we're not going to stay here but i'm not knocking the hotel for that because it's, it's 15 pound. So let's say there's a group of lads, or you come out here, you're on your own, you don't know where to stay, 15 pound. So let's go, the telly works, but there's no English channels. Then you've got this nice clock on the wall. The problem is, is it's actually hanging off the wall. Very, very dated kitchen, but for this price, they're not gonna update things either. A mismatch with the colors, you've got yellow, brown, creams. And once we opened the fridge free freezer when we walked in, freezer on the top, fridge on the bottom, and just in here was, what was it, a crab? A full crab. crab. The fridge hasn't, hadn't, actually been hadn't, hadn't actually been checked. So there was somebody else's crab in the fridge. You know, I'm, I'm itching myself now. Now the bathroom has got grout pretty much all over you know nothing's nothing's been tidied up the toilet's actually got a leak i don't know how well you can see that leak down there before i get to the shower above us the ceiling's actually fallen down wow, you can definitely see that one look at that so the ceiling's uneven um chipped paint all over and actually hanging down i think there's a, a full a full piece missing there so yeah, it's not the best. The shower probably looks the best bit, but it does look a bit unclean. You know, you've got the shower there, you've got the head there, which is typical in very, very cheap hotels, an old style. Oh, there we go, on the floor. The sink looks nice. The sink doesn't look bad. Um, it's got a glass shelf above, and I'm just finding things to try and find some positives about the place. <laughs> I suppose the positive is the price, 15 pound for up to four people. Not a bad price. It's just not a nice place. So the shower's coming away. There's grout all over the floor. There is a hairdryer. There's a positive. Way. So let's close up the shower, turn the light off, and never speak about this, just like Bruno. This hotel, I'll have to read you the name because everybody knows it. They know it through the spiral staircase as you walk up. The hotel is actually called Demichigulu. Demichigulu. D-E-R. D-E-M-I-R-C-I-O-G-L-U Apartment Hotel. So it is an apartment, it's not an actual hotel, it does have a bar below. You know, you look over here, you've got the unit with my Wi-Fi plugged in, and you've got another socket hanging off the wall there. And we haven't even gone to the next part yet. Would I stay here? Possibly, depending on how drunk I was. And I think that's the mindset some years would, would take. If you came here and you were just getting absolutely steaming, you wanted to get your head down, 15 pound, it just happens to be a very, very, very poor hotel. If I was to compare this to the UK, you'd be looking at Norbrek, Black, Blackpool, Metro Inn, Portrack, Stockton. The tiles, a little bit, 
of a mess with go do with just knocking off putting some new tiles on there even this looks a bit shabby the oven top's just been painted over you've got some wires hanging out there there's plates to come with it some salt there I, I don't know why anyone would use that and the pan let's see, look at that missing missing the end of the handle on the pan is the pan clean yummy this is the the master bedroom Ah, oh, there we go. The light does work. Again, a nice quirky light, but it does then show off all the dust. So for this room, you have a double bed and the pillows just look that crease that my mum didn't think they'd um, cleaned. But it could just be they don't iron them because it's a very low budget hotel. So I'm all this wallpaper on the wall with a couple of lights here the side. Again, some creased curtains. We do have aircon in the master bedroom. Yay! And again, the positive is, the only positive is it's only £15 for up to four people. Yeah, let's not be too harsh on the place. It's not nice, it's not the best. It does have a balcony area with some old looking chairs, but it has a balcony area. Um, the air con's just coming out there. That's how it looks when you open the door. Lovely. So this is Ishmael's cheapest hotel. You know, when you come out here, the view's not bad. So you can see where all the forest fires were, which was absolutely awful for the area. So this is the view. I wanted you to see the view. It's probably the best positive about the place. Oh, there we go. Lock the door. Nice little lock on there. No one's getting in. Extra safe. So there's the bedroom. It does have a, a side unit on. It's got a side unit there. Strange looking colours with a mirror and some extra lights. Then a double wardrobe. I would hate to be using them blankets. Oh, let's have a look. You know, it's got a mattress topper, even better. So nothing should be nothing should be getting through because it's got a mattress topper on there. You know, this isn't four in a bed, so we're not going to lift it right up and check. It's just, it's got a mattress topper on, so that'll do me. I don't need to crucify the place at all because it's cheap as chips. Even the door, you know, doesn't seem the best. You know, if you look, all the paintwork's coming away, the wood's chipping. Doesn't actually feel that secure. You, you don't feel safe in here anyway. There's a little pool area there. There's a bar below. So this all is with the hotel. There's a spiral staircase, which everyone mentioned, which if you just look there, there's a spiral staircase. So that's it. That's the hotel room review. Yeah, we've got things out because we unpacked and now we're repacking. If you think we should stay here, we will stay here. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be a bit should we stay here? Should we stay here in Ishmael's cheapest hotel? 15 quid for the night. Three of us, five pound per person. Stay on your own. Um, <laughs> let me start this. Would you stay here for 15 pound in Ishmael? Ishmael's cheapest hotel. Put it in the comments. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. I'm a food vlogger. Get me out of here.